Loud ass people, sweaty ass people, dumb ass people. These are the top three things that I find most annoying at the gym. Oh, 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 Andy's rants. All right, guys. So this is the first ever edition of Andy's rants, where I talk about the people, things, places, and situations that I find most annoying. And today we're going to be talking about the top three things that I find most annoying about the gym. Okay, number three is loud people at the gym. I understand the gym can be a noisy place, people grunt and groan, everybody makes noise. Some people are just freaking crazy. I don't need to hear you on your phone at the gym. Why do you even bring your phone into the gym? I leave mine in my car or I leave it in the locker. I don't need to hear people on their phone going, hey, hey, lock in the offer, lock in the offer. What offer? Did this say office up above you? No, it said gym, gym, G-Y-M. You're there to work out, not to work. It didn't say corporate center. It didn't say real estate office, it said gym. Hey babe, what's for dinner tonight? You're gonna find out in an hour when you get home. You're at the gym, you shouldn't even be talking about food. You should be talking about nothing. You shouldn't even be talking in general. You also don't need to be singing at the gym. People have their iPod headphones in and they're singing out loud. This isn't a contest. You're not auditioning for anything. I'm not a judge from The Voice. I'm not gonna spin around in a chair and ask to be your mentor. I'm gonna spin around on my bicycle chair or wherever the hell I'm on and tell you to shut the hell up because I'm at the gym and I don't need to hear you sing. Just... All right, number two is people who misuse equipment. When I talk about this, I'm talking about people who, number one, throw their freaking weights on the floor like an idiot. All right, you're not at the Olympics where you can just drop your weights when you're done. It's gonna freaking fall and break my damn foot. And look, I'm Armenian. I have like five lawyers in my family and like 10 other lawyers that I know just among my friends and acquaintances. So you're basically asking for a full-on lawsuit. Also, why can't you put your stuff away when you're done? I mean, I was raised that you leave a place cleaner than how you found it. But no, I walk into a room and somebody has taken the weights from some other section of the gym, like a mile away. It's basically gotten to a point where when I walk into a room at the gym, I'm getting ready to yell timber because I'm scared I'm gonna trip over a freaking weight and hit the floor really hard. And I'm pretty tall, so when I fall, I got a long way to go. All right, and number one, I saved the best for last. Meatheads at the gym. Now, I'm not hating on muscular people or buff people. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you've been to a gym twice in your life, you know what I mean by meatheads. The guys and sometimes the girls who their entire existence revolves around the gym. They're there for hours and hours. They're on the same piece of equipment for like 17 hours working on one freaking muscle, which is kind of counterproductive. They're the ones who grunt and groan like they're being raped by a blue whale and an elephant at the same time. I've never heard that sound before. Don't ever want to hear that sound, ever. But if I had to imagine what it sounds like, <coughs> meatheads at the gym. Okay, and not to hate, but it's usually the short guys. I know we don't, you know, control our high. I sure as hell didn't ask to be freakishly tall. I mean, there's one guy who goes to my gym. He's probably like 5'8", that's fine. But this guy is so overly buff, it's like he can't even put his arms down. He got into a plane crash, he doesn't even need a life jacket or to use his seat as uh, a flotation device. He just needs to put his arms out and he's good. He'll just freaking float to the shore. There's actually five or six guys like this. Every gym has a few of them. So basically what I'm saying is don't play into the stereotype of that men are like dogs. Chihuahuas always bark, always make noise, always annoying. Meatheads are the chihuahuas of the gym world. Don't be a chihuahua, don't be a meathead. Oh, gee, I'm mad, I feel like a beast, uh. Nobody thinks you're a beast. Nobody. All right, guys, well, that's it for this week's rant. My blood pressure is incredibly high right now, so I need to take a breather. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. There'll be more videos to come. Make sure you follow me to get more info.